Um, yeah, obviously after beating Hawthorne up here, we um, really set ourselves to go down to Carlton, um, play Melbourne. Apparently we hadn't won under Rocket down there, so it was good to um, get a win and um, win two in a row and get back to two and two. And now you're home and uh, you've got the undefeated Crows, that's a mission. Yeah, they're um, form, they're the, probably the best team in the comp at the moment, so we're looking forward to it and we're excited for the challenge. And It's great we get back to Metricon in front of our home crowd and get to play the top team. Do you change anything? I mean, they're versatile, they're sort of got everything going across the paddock. Where does the, the focus go on these guys? Oh, from week to week you change little things, but at the end of the day, when we play good footy, it's pretty simple. Um, we want to be hard at the contest and get numbers towards the footy. And, um, so we're going to keep, we're not going to change the game plan completely. Obviously you tweak it a um, little bit, but it's because you're playing the best or the worst team in the competition, it doesn't really change too much. Are there a couple of players that you are going to try and take out of the game or, you know, put two on one? Um, well, obviously they've got, some, they've got a great forward line, so I think uh, tail out of the back line we're going to have to um, put a lot of pressure up the field and obviously they've got Eddie Betts and Taylor Walker and these guys. Got, they're really good, really good players for them, so we, we'll put a bit of work into them, but um, I think it's going to start the midfield and putting pressure on, so make sure the delivery um, comes un, under pressure. What about Michael Barlow and Stephen May? Are they likely to miss with those hamstring injuries? Uh, Maisie's getting scans today on his hamstring, so I'm not too sure, and I'm pretty sure Michael Barlow will be fine. How um, much we miss Steve to the other day, you expect him to miss three through four? Like, how much would you miss him? Yeah, obviously, he's, he's our um, captain, he's a great player for us, so we're obviously going to miss him, but it gives other blokes opportunities. And Jack Leslie on the weekend um, thought he played really well, and he'll um, probably play in Walker this week, which is a great test for him. So, um, obviously, we're going to miss him, he's a um, really good player for us, but I think um, we'll have a couple of guys come up from the twos that can cover him. You've really struggled in the last two years when Steve hasn't played, and that might be a number of reasons for the missed midfielders and whatever, but why was Tom be different, do you think, in a better position this time? I think we've got added depth, depth now, and we've um, got a full midfield, and so I think we, um, we're better, a lot better than we have in, um, last year to cover him. So, um, And Jack Leslie's in pretty, really good form at the moment, so that really helps, and um, Rory Tom's won't be too far away, I wouldn't have thought either. What about leadership-wise? Do you feel any more pressure if, if Steve can't play on you? Oh, I don't think it'll, it'll change my role too much. I, um, obviously, I'll be the sole captain out there, but we'll still have um, Rosa, Barlow, Swallow. Um, there. I'm from the um, leadership group out there, so it um, won't change too much for me. Richie, I guess we've, we've seen you duck down the back line at the end of quarters a few times to try to um, stop some points being conceded late, but you have to get more numbers down there to help Jack and that kind of stuff out? Or? Um, yeah, I think we'll look, look into that. But as I said earlier, I think it's about the pressure up the midfield that we'll have to, um, we'll have to focus on, which has been really good lately. We've, we've, um, when it has come in, it's been coming in under some pretty good pressure. So I think we've got to continue that. The bit, sorry, I was just going to say, the big guy, obviously, without Steve's a problem, but Eddie Betts is probably one of the most dangerous players in yeah. the whole comp at the moment. How do you think he's going to slow him down this weekend? Yeah, obviously, um, Sardi or Harper was going to have a big test this week. I think Harper has shown in the past he um, plays really well on those small forwards. So I think we're pretty confident that um, Haas will be up to the task. And obviously, he's, he's the best small forward in the game, I'd say. Um, so um, it's exciting for Harps to match up on him. Tom, you guys get asked this at the opening of every season, but after two for uh, opening weeks and then two such positive ones, is it there a feel that finals could be on the horizon for you guys? Well, two weeks ago, our season was over, so I don't think we're, t we're thinking about that too early. I think it's good to get back two and two, and um, old cliche, just focusing this week, but we got Adelaide this week, so we're, we're um, putting all our effort into them, and they're the best team in the comp at the moment, so we're looking forward to them. How much do you guys like to take advantage of having that underdog tag of being the ones that are a little bit under the radar? Oh, I, I don't know. I think up here you sort of slide on the radar a little bit, but it doesn't really... Um, inside the four walls doesn't change if your favourites or underdogs for us really so um, I think it's just it's a good challenge and we look forward to playing um, good teams and hopefully measuring it well against them. Tommy, is that the next thing for you guys this season to take a, a big scalp like that? Yeah definitely I think every team will be looking to knock off teams like Adelaide and GWS and obviously we failed last time um, in round two against GWS who um, is around about that well, in the top four so 
I think um, Adelaide will be a good test for us and we're looking forward to um, improving on a really ordinary effort in the round two. Tom, Ali Bennell was up here. Um, did you manage to catch up with him? Have I managed to catch up with him? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've caught up with him in co coffee this morning, so, um, yeah. Would there be anything, does he want to come back? Would he like to play for the Suns again? Or? Oh, I, I think he's. I think he's just want to play footy for free at the moment. I don't think he's thinking about coming back, to play for the Gold Coast. So yeah, I don't think so. Do you reckon he was disappointed being drunk and kicked off the plane? Um, yeah, I'm sure he sure he would be. I'm not not too sure. I haven't spoken too much about it. So. Um, Braden Freemarini, how much are you enjoying his development in 2017 after getting rocky in 2016? Yeah, we know um, Braden's going to be a good play for us, and it was. Um, good last year, he got a bit of taste of senior footy and now he's come back and he's got his body in good condition and he uh, was a bit disappointed not playing the first couple of rounds and he's come in and he's been a really shining light for us. So um, we know he's going to be a good player. He's got a long way for his body to go yet, but yeah, we're, look, we're looking forward to him playing some good footy for us. You and Ablett are really close. We've copped a fair bit of um, the wing by the Carlton crowd. Are you happy? I mean, he's had a horror opening two rounds for him where it's pretty horrible and so much media speculation around him. What have you found the past two games? I guess he's no longer the captain, but is he still really leading you guys? And how have you found his resilience again? Oh, it's been a massive credit to Ablett. I think um, after round two, everyone was having a fair crack at him. And he's, you walk in, you wouldn't know he's um, bubbly and he's excited and he just wants to get better every day. So he's been great for um, us over the last month. And um, yeah, we'd like to help him out the best we can because obviously he's copped a um, fair bit of criticism, but he's responded really well the last two weeks. Just one footy one, Tommy, sorry. Um, the game seemed to change the other night when you, the back half really started taking, just tried to play on a lot and take it on and get guys to run. How important is that for you guys this weekend, whether you're under five or not, to continue that run and make it to, I guess, enterprise and play from the back? Yeah, I think in the first half, Carlton really slowed us up and managed to shut down that run. And um, I think Sardi, Harbury, our Hall, they started really running hard in that third quarter, which um, set us set us up. So that's part of our game plan. That's the way we want to play. So, as you said, when you're under fire, it um, can be a bit hard to take those risks. But um, I think the good sides do that every week. When they're um, under a bit of fire, they stick to their game plan. They still play the way they want to play. Tommy, um, I guess a pretty good night in front of goal. It was coming off the boot pretty um, pretty true. How do you feel? I guess going into the next week, having seven behind you. Yeah, it was good to kick straight this week. I was um, the week before. I was kicking, wasn't kicking that well. So yeah, it was nice, but. Um, yeah, it was obviously um, good to get the win and good kick a few goals. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this week. Um, I think play on Talia, who's a really good backman, one of the um, best back in the AFL, so it would be a good challenge for me. Have you changed anything in terms of your routine or your technique or anything like that to, to bring that on? Or? Oh, no, I, I didn't change anything. I've just, I continue um, working at it in every training session. I'll have set shots and things like that. So, um, full kicked the ball pretty well last year. I was just opening a few rounds. I wasn't kicking it that well for goal. So, it was nice to... Um, come off well on the weekend. Yeah, Brandon was um, is another one with Braden Fiorini. He's disappointed to play the first few games and he's come in and he's really cemented his spot now. So he's had strong NEFL form and um, it shows if you work hard, you stick at it and play well in NEFL, you can come up and play some good footy. So yeah, we're, we're really happy with Brandon. Um, and he's come in, he's played some good footy. Is that sort of the, you know, multiple goal kicking small forward that sort of missing piece you guys really needed up forward? Because you've had good key forwards for a little while, you need that sort of 30 to 40 goal small forward, sort of like Eddie Betts in that way? Yeah, I think um, as a team you want to have a spread of goal kickers, so you don't want to rely on one or two guys to kick your score every week, so it uh, makes it a lot harder to defend as an opposition. So, you, yeah, as you said, you look at Adelaide, they've got... Um, plenty of firepower with Walker, Lynch, Jenkins, um, Betts, Charlie Cameron, so they can all hit the scoreboard, which makes it so hard to defend.